What is hip hop? Oh, wow. It's life. It's culture. It's speaking to the masses about hardships and how to come out of it. So my name is Kim Holmes. I'm from Harlem, New York, and I've uh, been dancing uh, woo, professionally, I would say, over 25 years. The styles of dancing that I do are uh, hip hop, house, African. The thing that made me start dancing was my grandmother. She said all little girls needed grace and discipline. I was a little girl, four years old, and I had a lot of energy. So um, for her, it's like, I can't keep you in the house like this, so we gotta find something for you to do with all this energy. And um, I went to a school called Sounds and Motions, which used to be located on 125th Street and Lenox Avenue. I was 15 when I was first exposed to hip hop um, through a girlfriend of mine, Marjorie Smart. We were rehearsing for a talent show and she was coming over to help. And when I watched, I was just like, I think I wanna go dance with them. And I was a little bold. I asked her, you know, could I dance with her? And she was just like, could you dance? So I was like, yes, I could dance. And she said, well, could you do this step? And my audition step with her was the running man. The thing that she changed up on me was doing the running man with the spins. When I was able to do it, she was just like, oh, okay, no problem, you could dance with me. It was so much fun and we, we turned the whole talent show out. I think the greatest thing for me was exposing me to what it meant to be around women that dance, but also having the confidence behind it. I think for the kids coming out of that era, I was I graduated in 90. So that was the changing of events of watching us go and do videos, doing tours, dancing behind artists. Being a young mother, my, my whole thing was making sure that my daughter would be able to have a better life. So if this was the way I had to do it, I was going full, full blown ahead. It made me really stand up to a lot of things that I probably would have backed down from. I was a change person for my community. Like I was pretty much the first woman leaving the projects on the east side and it was, you know, it's, it was big for me. I, and I didn't know it until now, like, you know, the people that I was inspiring. Your parents really watched to see who you're gonna be around. And Marjorie was the only person that she would pretty much allow me to go out with. It's a heartfelt thing for me with Marjorie. Um, I got into house because of Marjorie. Her gift was bringing women together, bringing communities together. I miss my big sister. We all have those days that sometimes like, I'm not sure if I'm gonna do this anymore. I might wanna hang up my shoes and then here comes some little girl like, Miss Kim, I need you to teach me. I wanna come to your class. Or young gentlemen like, I seen you dance and you gave me so much life. I need to come learn from you. I'll give Marjorie all the kudos for that because if not for her, I don't know if I would be in this at this time. She's always in our heart. Thank you.